Welcome back. On the 28th of June, over 40 people were killed and over 230 were injured at the Atatürk Airport in Turkey, in Istanbul. And that attack literally caused shockwaves around the world because apparently it is the sixth busiest airport in the world. So people were frantically calling relatives who were transiting through. It was, it was scary. It I mean, was. even the, pres the president of um, Turkey said it's, it's an eye-opener to other countries because it could have been any airport. Yeah. It could yeah. have been any airport mm -hmm. that, um, that could have taken place at. And it was, mm -hmm. it's a shock because it could be anywhere, like I said, it could be anywhere. So There's that general feeling that nowhere is safe, that is be be gradually becoming prevalent. I mean, we're mm -hmm. hearing at Brussels, Paris, it seems like every week we're standing with, and they're targeting airports know? and um, train stations, really busy places you where you, anybody could be. Well, the clubs. club guy was, was a, a solo okay. terrorist. Yes. But yeah, like train stations, cafes, places. It's like, okay, you can't travel. You can't sit down and have a drink. Mm -hmm. There's no security. But you know, the funny thing is the U.S. now has this kind of I told you so attitude because apparently they've been arguing with Turkey to tighten its borders, especially with regards to ISIS movement, because apparently fighters move through Turkey to, uh, from Syria to Europe. Wounded fighters are taken to Turkey to recover. So apparently the, it's quite porous, mm. you know, and they kind of feel that it's because Turkey is not taking the matter as seriously, seriously. as possible. They even accuse them, Turkey, of, mm. uh, of um, abetting. Uh, yes, abetting, because or, it's yeah. hard. Like, a lot of uh, U, um, UK teenagers and uh, teenagers from America pass through Turkey. Yes. I mean, how is all this traffic going through your country and you're doing nothing to control it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So hopefully at this time, Yeah. Uh, I mean, now that Turkey is a, it has been a um, the targets mm -hmm. over and over again, they do something about shutting their borders to ISIS. Mm -hmm. And um, ISIS didn't actually claim responsibility, but um, yeah, they, they, they usually, don't, about they usually don't claim responsibility mm -hmm. for Turkey, probably because of all this um, action going yeah. on in the country. Mm -hmm. But the president seemed really upset because he says oh, their place is in hell, they're not representing Islam. Mm -hmm. So now he's probably mad and is going to do something, something about, about it. Something about it. Apparently, this is the seventh attack Turkey has had this year. It's literally like a monthly thing. And even even though um, only two were, were have been assigned or you know whatever to ISIS, it's literally like people are living in terror. I mean, and it's not just Istanbul; it's in Ankara. It's literally around the country, and I, it made me remember remember when Boko Haram was really an issue, and it seemed like every Sunday there was, there was a, bombing. a bombing somewhere. Mm -hmm. It kind of took me back to that time, you know. It did, but I'm looking forward to, like you said, hoping that they actually tighten their borders now and I mean for the fact that one person has been connected to almost all of this mm -hmm. and he's not even it because it's mostly foreigners it's yes mostly foreigners I mean these three guys were from Uzbekistan Kyrgyzstan mm -hmm. and Russia so yes. it's not even like Turkish citizens are mm -hmm. carrying out these attacks mm -hmm. it's probably some kind of message to Turkey that oh, because we're working with you doesn't mean we're working in your country doesn't mean you're safe from yeah. us so but then again I mean if you want to go to a conspiracy theory you can say oh people who want Turkey to be serious are now deciding to launch mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I didn't I didn't, I didn't think about that conspiracy <laughs> theory <laughs> well you know if you're thinking of conspiracy theories you actually you will not run out that's no, the yeah, truth so there's, there's always there's something so many. but yes it's it's a very sobering note to no, start the week no. on but this is the reality of the people in turkey mm -hmm. that this is what they're living with yeah. and they now have to wait next month and wonder if something else is it's going, going to, to come happen. up you know fingers crossed for them that it doesn't it doesn't yeah Anyway, Jola, thank you for coming. Thank you. Next Alex. week, let's talk about cheerful stuff. You know, let's talk about like I don't know <laughs> yeah, record breaking and so on. Cheerful. I know, I know, but we'll try. We'll, we'll, try. Try. we'll try. Let's try. We'll try at least one thing. Then one. Laugh. Exactly. Yes, yes. 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 Let's do that, <laughs> guys. We have to take a really quick break now. We'll be right back.